The object.entries function in JavaScript allows you to take an object like this one here, and then convert it into a two-dimensional array. Now this here is actually quite important, and I'm gonna be showing you a couple of ways you can interact with your uh, resulting array in this video. So this object right here, this params object, represents search params on some sort of website. For example, if you searched for JavaScript tutorials, you want page two, and you only want videos to be returned. Turned. Let's use object.entries on this object. We'll say const results equal to capital O object.entries and pass in there the params. Let's console log what the result is and we get a two dimensional array, an array of arrays. Now, each of these three arrays inside here in the first index is the key, so search, and the second is the value. From here, you can loop over your object. So as an example, I can say for of, all right? I can say for, then simply using the uh, array destructuring here, so square brackets, I can say key and value, okay? So for each key and value of this result, or just simply object.entries, right? Each result will say uh, console.log, use the template strings here to say key, then equals greater than, and then just simply put value to output this as a console log, run it again, now we get this as our result. One important use case and uh, what I've used many times in the past is converting your params into a query string. So the URL search params uh, object in JavaScript only accepts a 2D array as its constructor, okay? So as an example, if I was to say const query params equal to, okay? I can say new URL search params object dot entries and then pass through here the params, just like this. So now if I console.log query params dot two string, I'll save this, run the script again, and we get a query string for that particular object right there. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.